Pizza night is always one of my favorite nights. And it's so quick. You can make so many different types, cater them to what you're in the mood for, have different flavors. But this sausage pesto and spinach pizza is one of my favorites. I have been making this and I know it's gonna sound like an exaggeration, but since I was like 10 years old, that's when I started experimenting with pizzas and making for my family. And this one has stuck and is one of my favorites. A great pizza dough is of course essential if you're making a pizza and thankfully I have an awesome video up for you to make this perfect dough. There's a link below but let me quick show you how I did it because it is so easy. In a large bowl mix together some warm water, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Stir that up till it's dissolved. Add a couple splashes of olive oil, then some whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour, and some instant rapid rise yeast. Using a fork, stir that up to a shaggy mass and then knead the dough on a board until it's smooth, adding more flour as needed. For this recipe, I'm just using half the amount of dough. You can either freeze the rest or make two pizzas. Once the dough comes together and is smooth, put it into a clean oiled bowl. Cover it with plastic wrap for a few minutes. I'm baking mine on a pizza stone, so I'm just gonna push it right onto some parchment. Flour a little bit of parchment and press it out using your hands. If you need to, you can use a rolling pin if it gets too elastic. Once you have your desired shape, you can put it right into your preheated oven and I'm putting mine right on that pizza stone. Let it pre-bake for a few minutes. It's gonna become puffy and get a slight crust. Remove it, set it aside to cool as we assemble our pizza. This pizza encompasses a delicious sausage. And while you could just buy your sausage, and I'm not gonna judge you if you do. Okay, maybe a little judgment. I'm joking, I won't. I just like to quick put together some spices and add some ground pork for my own sausage. That way I can make the flavor exactly how I want it and it's not too overpowering. In a large skillet, just toast a little bit of fennel. It really brings out the flavor. Add some ground pork, some salt, a few cracks of pepper. I like to use fresh if I have it. Of course you can use pre-ground. A little bit of nutmeg. I know, you're probably thinking nutmeg. Nutmeg is actually a very traditional spice in sausage. Just don't add too much. Honestly though, believe me, you want a little bit in there. Break it up with a spatula just to make sure it's in small pieces and stir it together. And then just chop up some fresh thyme. Just kind of take the leaves off. If you have a little bit of the stem, it's okay. You just don't want too much of that hard stem and some parsley. I love fresh parsley. Throw those two right in there. And then just squeeze in some cloves of garlic. I always use a garlic press. I really don't understand why you wouldn't. I think it's so wonderful to have. Just press it right in there, scrape it off, and then let that come together. While that's browning and finishing up, just chop some onion fairly fine. I like to add the onion right in there and let it start sauteing. While the onion's sauteing, I just slice up some mushrooms. I like to cook them a little bit when I'm making a pizza. Sometimes if you add them raw, they kind of just get dry and crusty and don't really cook well. This ensures that they cook well and get a lot of the flavor from the sausage. Once those mushrooms are sauteed with the meat and onion, you can just remove the whole mixture and set it aside to cool slightly. To assemble this pizza, um, it couldn't be easier. Just put on some prepared basil pesto. I'm using my favorite recipe. There is a link below if you wanna follow along and make some of my favorite with me. I keep it in the freezer so it's always ready to go. If not, just use your favorite pesto that you have. Spread a thick layer on the bottom. That's right, that is the sauce. There is no normal tomato sauce, it is the pesto. Then a nice layer of spinach, 
I used to put the spinach on top and I found it got that crusty and crinkly in the oven. So if you put it on the bottom, the meat and cheese on top ensures it stays delicious. After that spinach is layered on, layer on that wonderful meat mixture and try not to eat it all as you're doing it. It's hard, believe me. And then just take some fresh mozzarella. I like to use the fresh instead of that shredded stuff because it melts and tastes better. Just put shards of fresh mozzarella all over it. They're gonna melt and become oozy, believe me. Grate on some fresh Parmesan cheese. Oh, the flavor and smell is so good. And then I have to add feta cheese. To me, feta cheese finishes this perfectly and really rounds out all the flavors. If you're adverse to feta, I don't know if we can be friends, but I'm joking, we can still be friends, but you're gonna eat feta. Sprinkle the feta all over the top and then bake this up. It only takes another about 15 minutes until all the cheese is melting and gooey. Remove it from the oven, let it cool a little bit just so you don't burn the roof of your mouth. We have all done that. Cut it up, slice it up, serve it. This is so delicious. I honestly love this pizza and I hope you do too and I can't wait to hear how you are enjoying it. If you like this video, make sure to click like below and subscribe to the Gray Boxwood channel. I love to hear from you on Instagram and Facebook and see how you're sharing these recipes around and using them. I hope you have a pizza party of your own and I can't wait to hear about your creations.